think Wicked is, is going to be absolutely phenomenal in Sydney and I think the audience is get, really going to appreciate it to come along to, to a show that lasts for three hours, to sit back and escape from their lives. And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger into this extraordinary sort of explosion of emerald and colour and texture and you see the costumes and the lighting and the music so exciting. Oh, it's challenging and it's um, multi-layered for a musical. There's so much that just jumps out at you. It's a show that really does tick all the boxes and then make up a few of its own. But now, Sydney ab is about to embrace it and you can feel the rumblings happening. Welcome to this exclusive behind the scenes tour of Wicked. I'm Amanda Harrison and I play Elphaba, the Wicked Witch of the West. And I'm Lucy Durack and I play Glinda the Good Witch. Over the past 14 months, we've had the wonderful experience of playing to over 600,000 people during the Melbourne season of Wicked the Musical. And now it's Sydney's turn to roll out the green carpet at the magnificent Capitol Theatre for what we are sure will be an outstanding season. So we thought, what better way to introduce you into our world of magic and mystery than to take you backstage into the mystique of what has become the hottest musical on the planet. Welcome, Welcome to Wicked. In the past two weeks, the Broadway production of Wicked the has biggest smashed ever the musical to hit our shores, costing $18 million. The show is sold out in Financially, it's massive. The set technically comes right out into the audience, and the costumes are something like four or five, 450 costumes over 150 weeks. And talking to my co producers in America, they all hoped and prayed that Wicked will be a success, but I don't think anybody really realised that it would be a mammoth mega hit. this night for a very long time. It's a marvelous group of actors, it's a marvelous production, and all the joy and enchantment and magic will thrill audiences, I'm sure, for a very long time to come. I didn't even imagine that you could make a living out of music theatre. I didn't even know because nobody, I, um, nobody in my family did anything like this at all. And so I was sort of looking into other careers and stuff, and my high school drama teacher said, you know, you could really make a go of this if you, if you wanted to. Even in high school, I was happy just doing the rock band stuff. And I don't know, maybe, maybe years before that though, there was a sign, it was the gingerbread man, had the lead role in grade prep. So maybe that was my sign for uh, musical theatre and, and, and a path to travel down. I always wanted to be a musical theatre star. That was something that um, you know, I thought of, not as a child so much, but once I'd started working in the industry and you know, it's something that I worked towards, but I'm not sure about whether I thought about being green. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that was a part of it. 